So we are to pray and obey and resist and repent for success. We're supposed to like be asking God, what do you want to do now? My sheep hear my voice says, Jesus, what do you want me to do now? Jesus, get an answer back. Start doing it with his power to do it. When Satan tries to stop you like he tries to, you keep resisting that. Even if there's suffering involved doing it. If Jesus is saying, keep doing this even though you're suffering, you're tired, I'll give you more strength. Uh, you're suffering, I'll give you grace to handle that. I want you to do this even though there's suffering involved with it, suffering love involved with it or something. You don't give up because it gets hard or suffering. Satan wants you to give up. Jesus doesn't. He wants to tell you to do things beyond your control. Like Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing successfully. Like Paul said, with Christ, I can do all things. With his strength, with his power, with this super God, Jesus, living in us, we can do all things. We can handle trouble, problems, suffering. We can handle lion's dens. Fiery furnaces, storms, World War III, back pain, whatever we're going through, God is greater than our problems. He's a very present help in our times of trouble. But Satan doesn't want us to believe in that. God doesn't love you. God doesn't exist. God can't help you. Trust in yourself. God can't make you happy now. You can't be happy now. You don't have enough created things. And it's all... Lies to resist. I can be happy now. Jesus' blood takes all my sins away. I can go to the presence of God where there's a fullness of joy. I can trust in God, not me, and have perfect peace. <laughs> Get away from me, Satan. <laughs> Ask Jesus what he wants to do. Get busy doing it. Make Jesus your boss, not Satan your boss. If you're not following Jesus, you're following Satan. <laughs> if you don't make Jesus your boss, you're making Satan your boss. You're doing what Satan's telling you to do. If you're not picking up the prayer phone and asking Jesus what to do and get busy doing that. Ask it, Jesus, what do you want to do now? Get an answer back. Start doing it. Suffering starts up. Satan tries to stop you. Jesus says, keep trying to do it. I'll help you to do it. Like walking on the water or whatever. You can't do it, but Jesus can help you to do it through you. Let Jesus do it through you. It's like sometimes I'll get really tired and I'll say, I just can't do what I think Jesus is telling me to do. The next minute I'm feeling like, yeah, I can do it now. And it's even like temptation. Jesus said, Without me, you cannot overcome temptation. Paul said, with Jesus' help, I can do all things. He can fill me with his wisdom and truth, and I can say, no, Satan, that's not true. Go away. So God wants us to pray and obey and resist and repent. Pray, ask him what to do, start to obey him, with his power to obey him. When Satan tries to stop you, resist him. And if you fall into temptation and listen to what Satan's telling you to do and start sinning against God and believe in lies about God and sin or suffering or whatever, then repent of that and get back to praying again. Okay, I started listening to Satan. I started sinning against you. I started believing lies about you and suffering or something. Help me to repent of that now, God, and get back to believing you are good and you, your will, suffering will is best for me. And repent and get back to praying and obeying and resisting again. Keep doing God's will, even if there's suffering involved with it. Don't trust in yourself to do it. Trust in God to help you to do it. Don't trust in your wisdom or muscles or money. Trust in God's wisdom and muscles and money to help you instead. God owns all the gold in heaven and earth. You don't have to worry about a bank account or paper money or anything. God, who did not spare his own son, will freely give us all things. He's an awesome, perfect father who takes good care of us. And suffering doesn't have to be something that's destroying us. It can help us to lean more on God's strength and power so that we might do greater things with God in the future. If we can learn to lean on the power of God through suffering now, it could be back pain, could be other satanic attacks or whatever, We'll be able to handle World War III when it comes, or being able to preach the gospel and be persecuted for it, because we've learned to trust in God through our suffering now. We'll be able to trust in God when we're suffering during the judgment on the wicked in the future. But Satan doesn't, doesn't want us learning how to trust in God through suffering successfully, so that when World War III starts up, Satan will make it easy for us to apostatize. Lock, lock. Your money in your bank's gone. 
where's God now? Or something. He's supposed to be a genie. You're supposed to be healthy and wealthy. Then they'll just apostatize. But if God puts them through suffering now, they learn to trust in them through suffering now, then they'll be able to handle World War III when it comes, to, or the judgment on the wicked when it comes later.